Hey guys, so I've got something which I don't usually do on this channel, um, but I do from time to time, is a mobile app pick. And today I'm going to talk about the Flim Newsreader. Now, the reason I'm going to be talking about the Flim Newsreader is, of course, because I've been looking at RSS readers, and I've also been looking at the various different workflows that you can apply to them. For example, you can you can use a web service um, if you want to keep all of your RSS subscriptions synchronized across multiple devices. Um, but there are also offline options. Uh, and if, for example, you know, you've got a phone that you use on the go and there's really only sort of some subscriptions that you really only ever want to read on your phone and have no interest in synchronizing or want something, something quite simple or, in fact, want something that you can download download articles offline um, with and then read them when you do not have an internet connection, which I often find myself uh, in that situation. So it would be nice if I could sort of download my, uh, you know, some, some articles from various newspapers that I read and blogs that I read for the day and, uh, um, and, and I'm able to read them offline in case I can't get a Wi-Fi connection. Um, the Flim Newsreader does just that. So uh, I don't have my um, Android screencaster set up yet, so uh, I've only got the screenshots on the store page here. So you can see what it looks like. It themes light and it themes dark. I've got the dark theme and I think it looks just fine. Uh, it looks actually, it lo looks nicer than the Feedly app, and the Feedly app is supposed to be the more polished, more well-known one. But I like how it uses uh, the thumbnail images uh, in, um, in Flim. So the Flim News Radio here, it says it's uh, simple, modern, totally free because it is open source, so there's no ads, uh, which keeps you informed by fetching websites and blogs and displaying them in a mobile optimized way. It is based on the sparse RSS reader. It does not synchronize with any online feed reader. If you need synchronization, this app is not for you. And then um, there's some features. So you can easily add new feed, uh, feeds thanks to the Google News or Search feature. So you can add in just like the URL or you can use like, uh, that. there is like a the good, you can follow like, I think is it Google Trends or Go Google Topics, I think it's called. So you can use that. Uh, yeah, there's light and dark themes. The dark theme I've only used, but it looks really nice. The offline reading is really great. Uh, import, export feed um, from uh, o OPML format. So OPML fo format is this like pretty universal format where if you want to uh, ex export a list of all your subscriptions, so if you want to take a list of all the websites you're subscribed to and, and move it over to another RSS reader, uh, it outputs it into an OPML format um, where you can import export so we can import export that. Uh, I have imported my Feedly subscriptions into this application and it's done it fine. It can also receive the full text of the feed when the content is truncated. So if you are familiar with RSS readers and how many websites, particularly like newspapers and like professional websites, will often only give you a snippet of the article in the RSS feed so that you could then have to click a read more link, which will then take you to the website where you can sort of engage the website more on their terms and um, they can then sort of turn a profit off ad revenue, which generally speaking is, is fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's a way to monetize it while also keeping the RSS feed going because uh, I think RSS is a fantastic um, uh, protocol. Uh, but with Flim, it has a really useful feature where it can actually download the full content of the website even if it's truncated on the RSS feed. So it uses like a script to go out and get the full text of, of the website. And this is really what makes this application um, something really, really, really useful and really applicable um, in day-to-day in -day situations, especially, um, for example, someone like me who, if you're traveling and you never know how good your internet connection is, it is absolutely incredibly useful if at the beginning of the day I can just swipe down and I can get all of my, you know, I can get a day's worth of reading of, of articles and blogs and updates and all that kind of stuff, all straight through to my phone, all downloaded and ready for offline reading in their complete format regardless of, of what my internet connection uh, availability is throughout the day, that is brilliant. That's like carrying around a, a magazine that updates itself whenever you're in a uh, vicinity of a Wi-Fi connection. You know, so you can hop, you know, and, and it works, you know, so you can do the same thing with hotel Wi-Fi or whatever. If I'm traveling at conferences, that's really useful. And I've found that to be really useful even in the short time that I've been trying it out. And then you can also do favorite articles and then search articles uh, and um, you can share them with social media. It's got all those share buttons and stuff, the stuff that most RSS readers come with. And really, it is that ability to actually just pull down full articles 
uh, and and save them for offline reading that to me is what makes this um application so amazing and powerful because really i can you know it it's it's just the easiest possible way i can imagine of just downloading a whole bunch of stuff that i can read later on uh, for offline use without even barely giving it a thought i just you know i've got my subscriptions ready on the go i just pull you know i just push that refresh button and it'll download you know all the you know it'll keep keep me updated with all the articles off of my favorite websites and i'm good to go it's uh, it really does bring the best of rss and um you know the power that offline rss readers can bring so that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not going to be doing too many of these mobile app picks, but as you can see, I was particularly enthusiastic to get this uh, this one up on the channel. So anyway, that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.